Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation. We are on day number 12. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> While I love the 12 Days of Foundation, it's a lot, so I'm always excited to make it to the end. This is one of the first years, I think, that I didn't give myself a cold or flu, knock on cheap Ikea wood and knock over a bottle. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be here at the end. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I've reviewed the Fenty Original Foundation twice. I reviewed their Mattifying Primer. I've done lip swatch videos. I've done full faces of Fenty. I will have those all linked down below if you're looking for more information. And if you missed the first 11 days of the 12 Days of Foundation, they will of course be linked down below. I did decide to do a little giveaway in this video as a thank you for your support, not only during this series but throughout the year I'll be giving away a hundred dollar gift card for you to pick up uh, your favorite foundation or whatever the hell you want from either Sephora Ulta or uh, Shoppers Drug Mart it's gonna depend of course where you live uh, the giveaway will be linked down below on my blog with all the information there but just a small token of my appreciation for you to uh, treat yourself because I've done a bunch of giveaways here recently on my channel but uh, it's all things that I've picked so it's kind of fun to be able to pick out whatever you want so let's go ahead and get started so this foundation of course comes in the iconic 40 shades. I'm gonna be wearing 320 today If you've watched any of my previous Fenty content, I was wearing 310 But I felt that that was a good shade match, but just a little bit too yellow So I've moved into the 320 era. I do have 310 and 320 to show you in face watches here today Just in case you're curious uh, retails for 35. Yeah, $35 American $45 Canadian you're getting 1.08 fluid ounces in there uh, and it says it's good for combo to dry to normal skin so it's not saying it's good for oily that's kind of their original foundation uh, it does contain grapeseed oil so it's not oil free which like I just I'm mentioning that because it's there on their site uh, it is also cruelty free but it also claims to be not only kind of hydrating but long wearing and medium to full coverage I'm gonna prime both sides of my face today one with the hydrating primer, one with the mattifying primer. We will see if it does anything, uh, any makes any difference. I do have a meeting and an event today, which is never my preference when I'm doing foundation reviews. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and uh, let's get started. Let me just mention that I got an espresso for Black Friday. Mm. And I have the hazelnut coffee with like a Premier Protein chocolate shake in there, like a, just a little bit. Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher coffee. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face watches. I forgot. <laughs> I actually, the Mac review went up today in my time and someone commented and was like, yeah, you forgot to put the name of the foundation in the title. I was like, yeah, it's been a long 12 days. <laughs> Whoopsie. So this is 310. This is 320. So you can definitely see there's a big change in terms of the undertone and I've worn both but I kind of like the way 320 looks on my face even though it looks jarringly peach now that I've swatched it um, but I've been wearing 320 and I thought it looked good so that's what I'm going to stick with today but you can see 310 is also a good match if you tend to be more yellowy. I'm gonna go ahead and dot this all over my face. I know a lot of people were waiting for this because a lot of people were uh wow super excited about Fenty but have drier skin and we're like I want to buy Fenty foundation but it's you know it's too matte and I like that foundation I don't find myself reaching for it a ton because I did find it to be very yellow and although I didn't I didn't find it to be too matte like it was a really beautiful kind of flawless coverage without looking too heavy on the skin as long as you didn't put too much on um, it's just not the type of foundation that I find myself reaching for lately so I was excited to see this come out because I just love foundations but I think you can see as I'm blending this out it doesn't look as crazy peach I was just like shocked like I've been wearing this shade um, and then when I swatch on my face I'm like damn that looks super peach but I think it looks I think it looks good once applied to the skin that's the thing like swatches can be so deceptive like also when it comes to bronzers I feel like bronzers are the most like I swatch a bronzer on my hand sometimes and it looks like gray or like it looks the same color as my skin and then on my face I'm like oh that works so as I always say get a sample if possible and try it out on your your whole face if you can 
So this side has the um, mattifying primer, this side has the hydrating primer. Like I mentioned, I did do a review comparing the mattifying to the original soft touch, um, but I have yet to review the hydrating primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some flash photos and do the rest of my makeup. And as of right now, like I think you can see I built it up to like a medium coverage. I, I don't build this up to fill to full. I do find it to be a little bit too, uh, hydrating for that we'll say like I know I've talked about this before but I just don't like putting much foundation on my face uh, because I find that's when I start to get oily that's when things start to get messed around so yeah I'm gonna leave it at this coverage here I think it looks natural it looks dewy and hydrated but it doesn't look greasy there's no like glitter particles or anything in here so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup take some photos and I'll be right back okay I am back with the rest of my makeup on and I think you can see that it looks quite natural. I've got a bit of a glow because I'm also wearing my all-time favorite. I've hit pan on using painter's tape to keep it together. Highlighter, the, uh, I can't even remember the name of it, Mean Money Hustle Baby. As you can tell, if I seem like a little bit loopy, it's it's because I am. But anyways, I think that it looks really, really good. This is the mattified primer side. This is the hydrated side. Um, and I love the way that this looks. I feel like it looks natural. It feels really natural as well. And the shade match, like I said earlier, looks uh, quite good in my opinion. And a little less of that stark yellow that I felt the shade 310 was. In photos as well, I thought it looked really good. Um, on application, it definitely has a more hydrated and kind of dewy look. But as you let it set down on your your face I think if you have like dry skin you might not want to set it I don't know I still don't totally understand the world of not setting your face because I've been oily and combo for so long but it definitely did dry down a little bit more than on initial application and when I took photos here I think you can see there's a sheen but nothing like super shiny it doesn't look super greasy uh, and I thought it looked pretty good in flash photos as well so I'm gonna go ahead uh, about my day and I will check back with you this afternoon in some natural light okay I'm coming to you a little bit later in the day for a midday check-in I had a meeting and I had a lunch kind of event and I realized I thought the lunch was at 12:30. it was actually at 12 so I had to race out the door when I had intended to do my check-in but yeah I have not touched up things look really good to remind you this was the mattified side this was the um, hydrating primer side I don't think there's like a like a huge difference I think I see a little less shine on my nose on the mattified side versus the other one. I have gotten like a little bit sweaty in the face going to and from events in and out of like heat, air conditioning, cold, etc. Um, but I think things still look really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a few more hours and I will see you this evening. Okay, it has come to the end of the day and I think things look quite good. It's interesting, uh, I've worn this foundation several times and there were times when I put this on and I felt like I immediately looked super shiny. I was having like kind of a sweaty face day. Uh, and then there were times where it wore like today, which I felt like it wore really, really well. Uh, I'm definitely a little bit shiny, but nothing has patched away. It has not oxidized. I still think it looks quite good. Uh, this was the mattifying primer side. This was the hydrating primer side and honestly, I don't see that much of a difference, really. I would love to know your thoughts on this foundation. If you have tried it, I feel like I saw, oh, Rue's sitting on my lap here. I feel like I, I saw people saying who have drier skin, uh, that it wasn't as hydrating as they wanted it to be. So I would love to know your thoughts on that. If you do have dry skin, I feel like it's a really nice kind of, what is that? I feel like it's a really nice kind of like in-between foundation. I would actually like to try mixing this with the original Fenty foundation. I feel like that might be a nice little mixing there. Not that that's at all necessary, but in case you happen to have both, you really need to decide where you're going. But yeah, I do, I do really enjoy this foundation. I think if you have a really oily skin type, I don't know how comfortable you're gonna feel in it, just because there has there have been a few times that I've worn this that I felt like right off the bat, I was like really shiny, even after powdering. So definitely you're gonna wanna use uh, maybe powder your primer, use a mattifying setting powder along with a mattifying setting spray because maybe the days that I did that I was wearing like a lighter powder and I felt like even if I even after I powdered it there was quite a bit of shine coming through but nothing looks like you know anything crazy shiny right now so it kind of reminds me not necessarily of a tinted moisturizer because it does have a decent amount of coverage in there I wouldn't say it builds up to full but it kind of has that 
nice consistency it feels quite light on the skin and i think the shade match is really good as well i know i talked about that in the beginning but because it did not oxidize it all stayed together quite nicely so yeah i really really enjoy this foundation if you have normal or combo skin i think you'll quite like it dry skin i would love to hear you weigh on weigh in on it because i know a lot of people with dry skin were really really waiting for this foundation to come along and like i said for oily um the matte one is definitely probably going to be the safest bet but you know you can always get a sample and see how it turns out for you and play around with the products that you use with it so that is it thank you so much for watching um, be sure to enter the giveaway it will be listed down below and if you would like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane and i'll see you guys next time bye